The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He's all right. And she say anything about me? What? Oh, I uh, will be nice. She said something that made me think she's not in. Yes, normal. Gerald, thank you. <laughs> that you're responsible. Got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. <laughs> Aww. He's, One he's thing's not. eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. That's it? Four oh, okay. hours from the cloak and the dagger. <laughs> mean you didn't? Ah, oh, see? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? Uh, Playboy? <laughs> oh, maybe he has changed. She's late. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. Oh my gosh, Dandelion. <laughs> Master Dandelion. Priscilla, she's... What? Speak, man. She's badly uh, <gasps> been attacked. They, they took I knew it. Marius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. I knew something was going to go horribly wrong. Gods. Priscilla. Is she going to live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. <gasps> I beg your pardon, but you are. Oh my a gosh! Relative? No, a friend. Her face! A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Graz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, <gasps> and scalding inside the throat of no! the second. No! Clearly someone forced that her to That must have been horrible for her! Yeah. So this was no ordinary attack. They no did robbery. it on purpose Clearly to ruin not. her career. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? Oh my god. This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. That experience Find alone. The I mean, who I did can't. This. Find him and kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Is she Let's ruined think about forever? I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. This no was her to passion. Look gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Ah, nice. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a Nice tumor. medical humor. Great analogy, but this tumor is not going to sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, and I assure you, I wouldn't I underestimate this guy. The easy assurance to make, harder to back up, especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel. He not knows a sword. exactly where to stab somebody. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. I actually noticed Any it. Any idea what leaves such a mark? A flail, morning star maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Let me repeat, I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. He got a flail morning star to the back of his head, like, holy crap. Did, I can't even imagine what she must have gone, I mean, like, I can't. I can imagine, and it must have been horrifying. The pain, the experience, and the fear, and, like, the, the helplessness, like, 
it, like are her insides complete like her stomach and everything like if she had to drink like acid like oh my gosh is this a monster that's been preying on people or whatever you know what i mean this was a human this is definitely a human who's doing this only a human would be capable of this sort of monstrosity think they'll let me into the morgue by the main entrance certainly not but you can also get inside through the sewers the sewers travel them often doctor as often as required for uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Oh, wow. So he's sort of a vigilante. Treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Oh, are you going to go with me? Okay. Mm -hmm. Ready and intrigued. Yeah, yeah. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. Is she going to be okay? Like, will she ever be able to sing again? That was her passion. Indeed. That was her life. It was everything she wanted. And she was... So, preventive medicine. Amazingly talented at it. What's that about? Think. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Instant health. No. 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 Is that? No. No. Take the drowner pheromone thing. How you like that silver? It's not silver. Oh, my sword is. Lost it. Okay. I kill one, another takes its place. I know how you feel. Where to now? <laughs> Believe. Oh, yes, it's not far now. Priscilla, how's it look? Give it to me straight, no sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Ah. I don't know, would she want to be with Dandelion anymore? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it would just remind her of everything she's lost. And shouldn't he be treating her? I would think. Oh, I'm do. Okay, I see. I see what's going on. I have the wrong quest selected. Why? Oh shoot! 
Telling the story, my dear reader, will tax me greatly. It is a dark and somber one, encompassing the greatest sorrow my heart has ever known. It all started the day of the grand opening of my cabaret. Everything had been spit, polished to perfection. All that was left was to wait for Priscilla, whose performance was to be the crowning moment of this glorious evening. Yet when the doors of the chameleon burst open, it was not she who stepped inside. Instead, it was a messenger from the Vilmarius Hospital, his face pale and countenance dour. He informed us that Priscilla had been badly wounded in assault and was currently tartaring the brink of death. Yeah, I think Dandelion being like, a woman's vanity knows no bounds. I'm like, uh, A, you freaking not, no. She knows how important this is. It's almost more important to her because she's performing and she has the same standards you do. Also, to talk about vanity, look at yourself in the mirror, dude. Like, don't even give me that. And now you feel so bad, you feel so bad, you better feel so bad because of what happened to her. Take the ladder. We should have we should have gone to look for her sooner. We shouldn't have sent her out on our own. That was a bad idea. This is the place. Come. The quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Oh, okay. Got somewhere to be. Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastor. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Uh you are not a dwarven woodcarver. You are perhaps a dwarven woodcarver. Looks like Necrophage has got to this one. Oh, nope, Let's okay. Let's keep looking. Uh, wow. How far, how many places to go? Jeez. Is it cool if we go to a different room? Um... I see. Ooh, nice. Uh, any chests? I'll try to loot them, but let's go in this room. Actually, I am also gonna throw down a save. Well, this person's body looks very just left out. So much alcohol in here for preser preservatives. I bet. Oh, that's another rare one. Human, wrong body type. Yeah, I know, I was not trying to click on her. Oh, chess. Speak of the devil. Quicksilver. is probably a very unpleasant place to be. Who knows? You're a dwarf. That's gotta be him. But this one's a she. Remember, beards are no indicator of gender amongst dwarves. Let's keep looking. She also doesn't have a chest. Is that typical of female dwarves? A dwarf, but the hands. Not a carpenter's. A banker's, more likely. You? Okay. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. He's got a little I lamp on his chest. That's cool, the, the guy. Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? You just did an autopsy on a uh, dilly wop. Genitals? Unfortunate. Are those gone? His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Whew. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. Hmm. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? I was gonna say, are the eyes gone? Oh, God! Who's doing this? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes. And some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Did they put that eye? Did he burn the eyes and put him back eyes, in? Then put burning coals in the sockets. Ah! So it seems. Looking at the wounds, oh it my appears gosh, our wood this is really horrifying. This is not what I wanted to do today. Oh my gosh, this is not what Let's I wanted to do today. Mouth. Burns. 
blisters. Oh, this is Just not what I wanted. Good. I don't want to look at him. Don't actually show Jesus. it to me. Incision made into the voice box. Indeed, so thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Holy crap! He did... This is, what is this? Who does this? Like, oh my gosh! This is really horrifying! Like, I... I'm actually really disturbed. Like, it hasn't... This game hasn't been that disturbing lately, but... Oh my gosh! Like, it was waiting... It was holding its punches until now. Like, this is horrifying. I mean, even... Even without wanting to, you kind of... You can kind of imagine what happened. And the pain and the fear and the helplessness and the horror, like what? Ugh! It's horrible. Let's examine his torso. Why what would you? Why would live? Why? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, Who? and a Ugh. scar the length of his stomach. And does, is there like is there like a like a like a like a reason? Like why is he choosing? Like a, a dwarf carpenter seems very different from a a female performer. Um, was it just picking, like, really talented people and, like, ruining them? Like, just killing them horrifically? Like, making them suffer? Like, why? Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out. Wound carved oh, out. God, I don't want to see it! Wait a minute, there's something else. Oh, God. Ugh. What? Oh, my gosh! I don't want to hear it. I don't know. Stop it! Oh. An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. A chameleon? Do chameleon? No, chameleons aren't amphibians, right? No, because that 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 happened recently. Okay, never mind. That wouldn't that wouldn't be anything. That wouldn't Look relate the to the to the to dandelion's Arms case. Long and thin, an incision, but the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Oh god. Open the abdominal cavity. No uh, god, please warning, no. It will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt. Wait. Smells not rot. I was gonna say it's probably preservative. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay. And why he made him drink scalded. preservative. Oh my gosh, why? Like, this is so intense. Somebody obviously put a lot of thought into this and into making sure the victim would stay alive. Like, it's one thing to be dead and have this done to you, which still would suck. But to be alive while most of this is going on, like, I cannot think of a worse way to die. Look at his hands. These welts. Torture. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagor. Long story. Some other time, maybe. Hmm. See the callus? Our dwarf Who wore is a this ring, guy? But someone took it off him. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard right before he kicked the bucket. Oh boy. It doesn't strike me as the right time yeah. for jokes. Yeah, apologies. We surgeons, we have a different sensibility. Yes. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. Okay. Right. I think I know enough. Enlighten me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. Hmm. 
ritual murder is a possibility with the egg. Punishment also. The murderer is not mad. The murderer is, I mean, they're mad in a way, but they're also very calculative, obviously. Like, they think, they think things through. They've planned this out. This, this torturer, this murderer. They know what they're doing. It takes a sort of rationality within the madness to be able to do that. I think. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm not a criminologist. Um, punishment is what I'm kind of thinking. Because, but they didn't, the thing is, it's his carpenter and he didn't, the hands aren't completely ruined. It's like the eyes and the, the, preser the being forced to drink a, preservation, pre a preservative. That's the same thing that happened with Priscilla, is her eyes, and she was forced to drink that preservative. The formaldehyde. Um. I kind of, I don't know. It, it, it. So I think if it was punishment, and he was, like, jealous of talent, he would, he would specifically pick. The thing, like, a carpenter values their hands. Priscilla values her voice and her looks, you know. Um, but he's doing the same thing to a, to a dwarf carpenter as he is to a female human performer. And the, the little salamander thing, I don't know. And I don't know if this will, like, affect anything. It's obviously ritualistic, ritualistic in some form because they've got a pattern. We'll try that. It's some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets. Cavity where the heart should be. Scalding liquid. All centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. <gasps> it's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name oh. was? And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong. <laughs> Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. Uh, we'll, we'll try to take the extra Do you options. Old friends? Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, you're younger than he is, is though. To treat the ill, not save the world. You've not changed a bit. A compliment? No, a statement of fact. Thirty years, and you've not changed a bit. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. Go, oh, Gaul. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate of Far Corners. That poor Trebirex was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace, the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Sorry, I knew it! Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in under any circumstances. You did, but... They're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. Uh, thank you. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. That was quick. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? Do you like him? Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Quite. Quite. Oh boy. Thank you. Quite appreciated. Oh boy, old chap. Let's be all polite and lovely to each other. With failed disdain. Nathaniel. Who is he? A scoundrel. A rogue. Like every man who wears the robes of the eternal fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. 
Before he donned the frock, ah! Delighted especially in torturing women. Well, can we just murder him Peter now and get it out of the way? Fart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the temple guard, what? supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the temple on the aisle, and so forth. Why? Mm -hmm. Dream job. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. <laughs> I've said enough on the subject. Okay. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do wow. I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. I didn't crossed, realize it was going to be like such an ex. On you. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's creepy. I didn't realize this was going to be so involved. Jeez, Louise. Uh, character entries have been added. Not the bestiary. Hubert Rake. I bet you, I wonder if they were either really good friends or lovers at some point. Uh, this guy and the, and the other guy. You, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the guy and the, and the guy? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. The wave of religious and racially motivated killings that swept through Novigrad in the spring of 1272 coincided with Hubert Rake's term as coroner at the city morgue. Yikes. Because of this, he was overworked and additionally had to bear the harassment of his dislikable superior, Reverend Nathaniel. It is thus no surprise that he came across as unpleasant and sarcastic when Geralt and he first met. Furthermore, it was clear there was bad blood between him and jo Johan von Gratz. The fact that they had little to improve the already rather stiff atmosphere of the morgue. Oh my gosh! Nevertheless, having learned the reason for Geralt's unexpected visit, Hubert made it clear Geralt and Johan could count on his help. Okay. Johan van Gratz, uh, we met him under very unfortunate circumstances. I must admit, I was so shaken, I hardly remember the meeting. Say that he was a cool headed doctor who seemed to know a great deal about the previous murders and offered to help investigating the matter. His senior surgeon was no stranger to violence, for he bore a formidable scar worthy of a veteran of the Battle of Brenna. Geralt also noted that van Gratz seemed quite experienced at navigating the sewers and fighting the monsters dwelling within it. It was hard not to notice that Johan van Gratz did not care much for the city coroner, Hubert Rake, who dropped in unexpectedly on Geralt and the doctor at the morgue. Uh, dirt bag. One of the biggest dirt bags on the I'm gonna kill him so hard. Don't even worry about it. Reverend Nathaniel, supervisor, city morgue, and cleric of the Church of Eternal Fire. Why is it only like I'm sure the Church of Eternal Fire isn't that bad in principle? Like they're probably that the, the the original principles that were that were made when it was first created or whatever probably isn't bad. But they've got how did they manage to get a bunch of dirt bags and murderers and torturers and psychopaths? In the high rankings, I got, in all of them, every single one of them, low and high ranking. Like, what? How did this happen? He was a man of vile character and stormy past before donning the frock he'd served for years as a city torturer. Who, gets, who, do, who promotes a city torturer to a priest? Who does that? I want to be hard pressed to find a more inferior candidate for a pastor than a former hangman. But as the saying goes, and no threat, anything is possible. <laughs> Carnal sins. All right, well, guys, I'm gonna call this one here. This just blew up in my face. I thought we were gonna like help his cabaret, and it would take like 20 minutes, and we'd be off. We'd be off recruiting people, but nope, nope. I have to deal with this now. That was just freaking lovely. I'm just so freaking excited. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. I if. I'll try to put, remember to put a warning on this one so that if those of you who don't appreciate hearing or seeing such things won't have to maybe worry about it. But anyway, thank you for those of you who watched. I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one.